SMT Nation, we back. Nation, we got updates out of Verizon. Let's quickly get into it so we can be efficient with this video. I'll be sure to link the new center press releases for you. They will be in the description and ways to support the SMT YouTube channel. If you find value in our content, are in the description as well. All right, so first article or press release from Verizon. Verizon gives the gift of upgraded wireless service to customers in Gaylord, Michigan. See, I've never heard of Gaylord, Michigan. I've never noticed it on a map. This tells me that they're really starting to expand the coverage of the 5G Ultra Wideband. Let's see what they did here. Let's see what this is about. All right, so Gaylord, a small town in rural mid-Michigan, just got a big boost. They recently turned on a new cell site in Gaylord, which improves 4G and high-speed 5G Ultra Wideband capacity and coverage for residents and visitors in town. It says here the western part of the city along M32 between Gaylord and Elmira, north of the 45th parallel. And then they said uh, you'll see a coverage boost to the Gaylord Country Club along the residential parts of the town. All right, so 230 million pops of the ultra wideband services through C band, 5G home internet service now reaching 40 million. That's an important part of this, right, guys? You've upgraded the mobile network, which also serves as a home internet broadband solution. So now the folks of Gaylord likely are going to have the option of Verizon 5G home internet. That's really exciting. I don't know what type of options they have for wireline or home internet, home broadband, but now they got Verizon as an option. So good for the folks there. Next piece, Kentucky. All right, let's see what parts of Kentucky. Uh, Barberville, Falmouth, Mount Eden, Salem, Kentucky. 4G and 5G ultra wideband services. Uh, same kind of situation with these upgrades. The region mentioned here, Ellis, Flatlick, and Trosper, covering the area between Barberville and to the northwest and Pineville to the southeast. State Route 22, I-75, and then it names some other places like Williamstown Lake, Locust Grove. All right, so this, this stretch of coverage, this improvement with respect to Salem, the US-60 part as well, getting upgraded. It's the same thing I just said about the last update. These folks are going to get an upgraded mobile experience, whether it's LTE or 5G, they're also going to get access to a 5G home internet service option if they need a competitive option. Guys, this is really good. I've never heard of these places. That tells me these are in small towns. This has been one of the pain points as I've covered, you know, the Verizon upgrades on my channel and show you guys on my videos what they've been doing in Cleveland. Everybody always, you know, Everybody that sees the upgrades, they, they understand how, how good it is for the network experience. But then folks who have not seen the upgrades because they live in smaller towns, kind of second in line, they've said, well, good for you. Well, what about me? I don't see anything. Well, these are small towns. So this is an indication that Verizon has mostly finished the urban core and they've kind of pivoted their macro upgrade focus to the smaller towns and the smaller cities. 2024 is going to look and sound like this video here today. And I'm really excited for folks to get the upgraded Verizon experience and have the option to choose their 5G home broadband solution. This is exciting, guys. Very, very cool. Have you guys been seeing Verizon upgrading in your smaller towns? Tell me about it in the comment section and tell me what you think of these press releases. Sound off in the comment section below. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.